In the news, Governing Council of AOAU dismissed another lecturer over sexual harassment. Cool leaders on Wednesday released 80 prisoners ahead of ECOWAS summit in Guinea. Emergencies Minister Yevengzi Yuzinichev has died at 55 during training while trying to save another man. And to sport, four English football clubs, Liverpool, Man City, Chelsea and Man United hit as eight Brazilian players barred from playing in Premier League. Data's coming up shortly. This is TOS Television, your digital first Pan African news network. I am Merciful Ajinomo, and you're watching TOS News 360. The Governing Council of the Obafemi Awolowo University, Ileife, Oshun State, has dismissed another lecturer who was found guilty of sexually harassing a female student. A spokesman for the university, Abiodun Olarewaju, announced this in a statement issued on Tuesday in Ileife. The PRO said the action was in line with the university's determination to put an end to any form of sexual intimidation, harassment and or coercion. According to the statement, the institution's decision to dismiss Dr. Adebayo Mosobalaje of the Department of English Language and the Faculty of Art was taken by the council at its last sitting on Tuesday, September 7. President Muhammadu Buhari has urged security chiefs to come up with tactics to solve the country's security challenges, especially the spate of abductions and killings in the Northwest and North Central. President gave directive as bandits stormed Katsina and Kaduna State on Monday and Tuesday, abducting 26 persons, including women and children. The Inspector General of Police, Usman al khali disclosed this while speaking to newsmen after a meeting with President Buhari on Tuesday. According to al khali the President also directed security chiefs to intensify their efforts to restore security across the country to enable citizens to go about their normal lives. At least 20 people have been abducted in Dange Shuni local government area of Sokoto State by bandits believed to be fleeing Nigerian Air Force attacks in Bakura in the Talata Mafari axis of Zamfara State on Tuesday. The military operation has been supported with the shutdown of mobile telecommunications networks and suspension of cattle markets and ban of sale of petrol in Jerikant. Sokoto State Commissioner for Security Affairs Garba Moyi confirmed the development but said the state government was on top of the situation. And now Guinea's military leaders have freed scores of political prisoners before a meeting of West African leaders to discuss the response to Sunday's coup that ousted President Alpha Conde. At least 80 political prisoners detained by Conde were released on Tuesday evening. Some had campaigned against his attempt to stay in power for a third term after all the constitution to permit it, a move opponents said was illegal. Coup leader Mamadi Dumboya, a former French legionnaire, has pledged to install a unified transitional government but has not said when or how that will happen. Sudan Foreign Ministry, in a statement on Tuesday, summoned Ethiopia's ambassador to Khartoum after 29 bodies were found between July 26 and August 8 on the Sudanese side of the Setit riverbank, known in Ethiopia as the Tekeze. The ministry said the bodies had been identified as Ethiopians from the Tigray ethnic group by Ethiopians residing in the Wadal Hilawai area of eastern Sudan. The river runs along Ethiopia's border with Eritrea before crossing into Sudan at a point where the three countries meet. This is your digital first Pan African news network, TOS Television, and you're watching TOS News 360. Africa Global Business and Sports Tours when we return. Stay with us. Thank you for staying. The International Monetary Fund's executive board in a statement on Tuesday approved $567 million in emergency support for Tanzania to help finance a COVID-19 vaccination campaign and meet the health and social cost of the pandemic. The new funding will allow Tanzanian officials to address the urgent health, humanitarian and economic cost of the pandemic, the IMF said. It will also help Tanzanian officials mobilize additional support from development partners, it said. 
Tanzania plans to borrow almost 10.8 trillion shillings, about half of which the authorities seek to raise from external sources. Russian Emergencies Minister Yagenzi Zinichev, aged 55, who was in the Arctic to oversee large-scale drills and visited the construction site of a new fire station in Norilsk, as well as a search and rescue team in the area, reportedly died during training exercises in the Arctic city of Norilsk on Wednesday while attempting to save a person's life. Margarita Simeonian, chief editor of the state-funded RT news broadcaster, said Zinichev died while rescuing a cameraman who slipped and fell into the water. There were plenty of witnesses, but no one even had time to figure out what happened. Zinichev jumped into the water after the falling man and landed on the protruding stone, Simeon tweeted. Zinichev had headed the Emergency Situations Ministry since 2018. And now to Palestine, where members of the Palestinian Islamic Jihad group have vowed to fight Israeli forces if they are in the joining refugee camp in search of the six Palestinian prisoners who escaped from the high-security Israeli prison. TOS News had reported on Monday how six Palestinians escaped from one of the most secured Israeli jail on Monday through a tunnel. Early on Wednesday, Israeli soldiers with dogs called gaps in Israel's separation wall near the Palestinian town of Yabad near Jenin, while reconnaissance aircraft flew above. Talking business, a momentary setback on Tuesday hit crypto market, which resulted in some of the most popular digital assets registering double-digit losses until staging a mini recovery. As at last check, market watch showed that Bitcoin was changing hands $46,964.65, down 9.1%, but had sunk to an entry session 24-hour nadir at $42,921.27 on Coindesk. Ethereum, the number two largest crypto by market value, was down 12%, but had hit a low at $3,036.30. Now to sport, Premier League teams including Liverpool, Chelsea, Manchester City and Manchester United will be without a host of star players this weekend after the row between English clubs and the Brazilian Football Association escalated dramatically. The clubs were informed that the controversial five-day rule will be imposed by the Brazilian FA, who are angry that players were withdrawn from the latest round of World Cup qualifiers. That would prevent eight players from five clubs from featuring in this round of domestic fixtures, although it has emerged that Everton forward which Alisson will be allowed to play this weekend due to the toughest strong relationship with the Brazilian Federation. Which Alisson was allowed to play for Brazil in the Olympic Games in Beijing earlier this summer. Liverpool trail Alisson Becker, Fabinho and Roberto Firmino are all impacted and will be ruled out of the red strip to Leeds on Sunday. Leeds winger Rafinha will also miss the game at Erland Road. And Manchester City duo Ederson and Gabriel Jesus will miss the trip to Leicester on Saturday while Manchester United midfielder Fred is out of his side's home clash with Newcastle the same day. Fred will also march to the Red Devils' annoyance, set out the opening Champions League group clash away to Young Boys next Tuesday. And that is TOS News 360 on your digital first Pan African news network. For more updates, visit www.tostvnetwork.com. Follow and like our social media handles on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And remember to subscribe on YouTube. Do stay with us and enjoy more programs on TOS Television Network. I am Merciful Ajinomo. Many thanks for watching.